Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be setting up OpenVPN for remote access on PFSense. To get started, we'll go ahead and log into our PFSense instance here. For our example, we're going to be using a NetGate SG1100 running PFSense 244P3. Now to get started, we just go up to VPN and then open VPN. And what's nice is we have a wizard that will walk us through all of the steps. So we just click on wizard. And the first thing we have to do is choose our authentication type. You do have an option to use radius or LDAP here. For our example today, we are just going to use local user access and then click next. First thing we have to do is create our certificate authority. So we just fill in the prompts here our descriptive name of home office, key length and lifetime you can leave as default. Our country code will be US, our state will be Texas, and city for our example will be Austin. Our organization will once again be home office. Then we just go ahead and click add new CA and move on to the next step. Now all we have to do for our server certificate is enter our descriptive name. We'll use home office once again. Everything else here can be left as default. And then go down and click create new certificate. Next we'll go ahead and set up our interface protocol and local port settings. Uh, for our example today we're going to go ahead and leave them as default. You do have the option to change them here if you wish and then we'll enter our description name of home office VPN. The cryptographic settings uh, most of the time the defaults here will be fine however if you do change them just make sure they do match your client settings. Uh, we'll go ahead and enter our tunnel network settings here. Our tunnel network will be 192.168.80.0 slash 24 if you want, you can force all the client traffic through a redirect gateway by clicking this checkbox here. We'll leave it unchecked. Uh, then we'll enter our local network. You can have multiple networks here if you would like. Uh, if you need, if your users need access to more than, more than one network, you'd enter that here. We'll just go ahead and give them access to our one network. Concurrent connections, if you need to specify the number of users here, you can do that. We'll go ahead and leave it blank. Our client settings. Now this is where you can specify DNS servers if you need to force users to a specific one. We'll go ahead and leave ours blank and then click next. Now we want to go ahead and select these two options here so it'll go ahead and create the firewall rule for us. Then click next and then click finish. And that's it. Now we have our open VPN server set up. Now by default the authentication does default to SSL and user authentication. Uh, for our example we're going to go ahead and change that by clicking on our edit server here and then we'll choose the drop down by server mode. Uh, you can see it's default to SSL plus user auth. For simplicity we're just going to use user authentication and then we scroll down and save those changes now that our VPN server is set up we'll go ahead and create our VPN user by going to system user manager and then clicking add and go ahead and create our user here username will be Dennis and then we'll go ahead and set up our password full name Dennis and you don't have to give any other memberships but if you want to do that you could do that here and then you also have the option here to create the user certificate and then we just scroll down and click save and now we have successfully created our VPN server and user now if we go up to system and package manager there is an optional package that we can install to make client deployment a little bit easier 
we'll go ahead and click on available packages and then we'll type in open VPN and then we'll go ahead and download the open VPN client export tool this should download and install pretty quickly depending on the internet connection that you have and then once installed you can find this by going to VPN open VPN and then our client export tab and then if we scroll down we'll see the list of installers that we have on the example machine that we have it's going to be a Windows 10 machine so we'll go ahead and download this Windows 10 installer here and then we'll put that on our test box now this makes it super easy for your client deployment as all they have to do is double click and run this installer and next and finish their way uh, through the prompts and then what will happen is it will put a little icon in your taskbar we'll go ahead and right click on that icon and bring up the OpenVPN connection and then we can connect to our PFSense lab machine here and then we'll enter the username and password that we defined earlier uh, you do have the option to save your password here um, for our example we're just going to go ahead and leave it unchecked click OK and it'll go through and you can see it's making a connection and when connected you can see we have an IP address of 192.168.80.2 just as we had defined in our tunnel network settings and just like that you have OpenVPN set up for remote access on PFSense thank you for watching and stay tuned to the channel for more videos from the NetGate team